Okay, let's start um, making a flower, but first what we have to do is make the first part, the, I guess you'd call it the ball of the flower. And so what I'm going to do is use an antagonal antiprism. So what you have is two pentagons, um, and what they do is they, they are opposite each other. And so here's a flattened version. You have a pentagon on the top, and on the bottom you have another one, and then you join them up with triangles. So that's why it's called a pentagonal antiprism. So it's not quite a prism, because then they'd be joined with a square being an antiprism, it's joined with triangles. And so here's what we're going to do. We're going to follow this pattern by making a big seven-sided figure and join them up. And so let's begin. So one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Okay. Okay, and so if you noticed, what I did is I made every other bubble big. And that's the, that's the key to this pattern, because the fat ones are going to be the pentagons and the small ones are going to be the triangles. And so let's continue that pattern by going big and then small. And what we're making is squares, okay? And so I continue making squares on this pattern. alternating and just keep going around the pattern. So I kind of treat this thing like a big wheel. And this last little bubble is going to hide in the in middle. I'm going to take it around the knot. Oops. I'm going to take that last little bubble, we'll make it small so it hides nicely around. Um, I guess I'm going to hide that one on one side and hide this one between these two here. Oops. Then hide that knot nicely. On there. Put that out of this uh, there. Okay, good. So what we have here is five pen or five bubbles on the one side, and the other side five bubbles. And so if we look around the edge, it's like a wheel. Okay, the bubbles are smaller than the big ones, but they sort of weave them together. So you can see, out of one balloon, we have this thing, a pentagonal. Antiprism. So this is the step one for this flower. This will be the head of the flower. Okay, just wait for the next part.